Hello! In this video, I just want to show you my cute little corner that I just made. I just want to show off, basically. So as you can see, there are lots of stuff to consider in order to make this little coffee corner in the house. And I just want to share to you guys the reason why I bought what I bought. So the first one is the shelf. I got this from Ikea and I think it's called... Jalbo? I don't even know how to read it, but that's the name. This shelf actually has this little door at the bottom, but I don't really like the style so i decided just not to put it in so the first thing to consider while buying a shelf is its dimension because i'm gonna be the one who operates the machine quite often so i have this approximate height of where i want the porta filter to be so one quick note right here is that i did get the right measurements for the porta filter but not when i tam so whenever i tam i do need to go a bit on my tiptoe. If it's two, three centimeters lower, I think it's gonna be perfect, but I only have this. So I am 160 centimeter tall or five foot three. I honestly don't get imperial measurements, but I'm just put it out there. So you guys sort of know my approximate height and that I'm not that tall, but anyway. Second one is, of course, the coffee machine. So I was deciding in between Breville Infuser, the one that I bought, and Barista Express, I believe that was the name. And the difference is that one does have a built-in grinder and the other one doesn't. Though it's sort of practical to have a built-in grinder and they said it's pretty good and it's easy to clean as well, but I just don't trust them. And I'm not sure if the grinder was precise enough to make a good kind of espresso because the grind size does play a huge role in making an espresso and the taste and everything. In the end, I decided to buy this Breville infuser with an additional grinder, which if you add the cost of those two, it's slightly more expensive than the Brazil Barista Express, I believe. But I feel like it's a better choice, personally. I mean, it does take a bit more space though. But let's move on before I regret my choice. I don't really mind the single boiler because it's not that I'm gonna serve it for 15 different people at the same time. And it's probably just gonna be me, myself, and I. Or maybe my mom and dad if I'm nice enough to make them one. Oh, by the way, single boiler means that you can't really make the espresso and steam the milk at the same time. It's basically just additional waiting time and it's gonna be a hustle if you are serving coffee for lots of people, but I'm not gonna do that. So it's fine for me, it's fine. Next. Okay, the third one is the grinder. So in the end, I bought Barazza Sete 30. So this grinder is different from the one that I had previously because this one is made for espresso. The reason why I bought Sete 30 and not Sete 270 and Sete 270 WI is that one, it is cheaper by a lot. The Sete 270 and 270i does have this tapless um fine adjustment to just like tweak it a little bit i don't really want to be too geeky about that i mean it's it's home brewing it's supposed to be easy and chill and not stressful right it's not that i work for a company next so when it comes to a grinder the more uniform the ground is the better. And what I see from the Sete 30 is that it is actually uniform enough. I mean, it's not like the best, 
but it is good enough for home brewing and that's what really matters so when it comes to all this grinder coffee machine or even the shelf you really need to think of it financially don't buy something that would burden you for the next two years because you really need to pay this off so that's it for today and i hope it does gives you an idea about the thought process that i went through in order to make this coffee corner in my house and if you're looking for a coffee machine or you wanted to have this home brewing station in your house don't forget to think about what works for you purpose-wise budget-wise and i'll see you in the next video